So previously we talked about solidification of liquid and then we talk about uh, homogeneous heterogeneous nucleation and then we talked about uh, the interface different types of interface between solid and liquid diffuse versus the flat and then we talk about continuous growth versus the uh, so-called uh, lateral growth okay whether by surface nucleation or by spiral growth and then we talk about uh, the solidification growth of solid of a so-called pure element pure nickel pure aluminum but quite often we have to deal with what i'm pointing alloys what is the difference between pure element and alloy typically when we say alloy we're talking about metals but it's not one single atom uh, types of element it has more than one types of element those what we call it alloys metals that contains quite often more than one element how do these things grow from the liquid that's what we're going to deal with okay the first the simplest one is the reason we do that is commercial metals contain alloy elements only on the very rare case we use pure aluminum very very soft you probably use it for food wrap pure nickel for very special application pure copper for electrical cable but anything else we add alloy elements and then in this lecture we're going to cover several systems one would be single phase single phase going from liquid to solid single phase we are going to cover so-called eutectic alloy the composition is at the eutectic composition okay eutectic composition is corresponding to the lowest melting point right that can be and then pyrotactic alloy which is okay slightly away from the eutectic composition okay we are going to cover them gradually but the simplest one we are dealing with is so-called uh, equilibrium solidification of a single phase alloy well it's kind of a misnomer in, in strictly speaking because we are doing solidification we are going from liquid into solid it's a transformation process but i add what equilibrium or strictly speaking closed equilibrium which means at any moment the system is more or less under equilibrium condition at any moment it's more or less under equilibrium condition how do we do this will you typically approach this when you do fast solidification or slow solidification slow makes sense when we are doing solidification in an extremely patient fashion very very slowly extract heat very very slowly cooling it down then we are close to so-called quote-unquote equilibrium solidification make sense that's why we, we said it's it's kind of a, a misnomer because solidification where we have to go from one phase to another it's one direction but equilibrium means what both directions same speed that's equilibrium but we are do when you are doing it, it we are very 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 slow like, we are approaching equilibrium solidification okay this is our assumed what part of a phase diagram vertical axis for temperature horizontal axis for composition let's say it's a b and b is our so-called solute atom in a this side is pure a okay here is what phase let's say we have eutectic phase diagram then here must be liquid here must be uniform solid typically alpha which is what what is alpha almost a pure a with a little bit of b element dissolved in it make sense and here i'm pointing at what the two phase region between 
liquid and alpha solid. Make sense? That's our two phase region. Here could be the other two phase region, which is between alpha quite often and beta on the other side. Okay. Let's say our system composition, system composition, the whole thing, the system composition is what? X0. Our system is composition X0. And we are doing what? Solidification. Let's say initially I'm here. How many phase do I have? If I'm here. One phase. What is that phase? Uniform liquid, right? And I'm cooling down solidification. I'm cooling down equilibrium solidification means I'm cooling down very fast or very slow. Very slowly cooling down. My system goes like this. Make sense? Vertically down. And in this process, my system composition doesn't change. Whatever it is, it's still x0. Make sense? But because I'm doing it very slowly, at any moment, at any moment, I can quote unquote assume the system is under equilibrium condition. Okay? And then that's what we are assumption. If we assume at any moment the system is under equilibrium condition, let's say I'm here. The system temperature is what? T2, uh, system temperature at T2, under equilibrium condition, let's say uh, under equilibrium condition, what's my solid composition? If under equilibrium condition, the solid composition is just uh, Xs, right? It follows so-called solidus line, make sense? If under equilibrium condition. If I'm a system temperature is this, what's my liquid composition? It's the other side of the intercept of the tie line with the phase boundary. This point gives us the liquid composition, which is the intercept with the liquidus line. Okay? And then we said again, what? Equilibrium solidification means very, very slow cooling. You're not do rushing it. Only this we can assume is to be equilibrium. Okay? And uh, we said under equilibrium, under any moment, which means what? We are assuming the liquid composition and the solid composition at any moment are both uniform. Which means if my system is at this T2 temperature, all the liquid has the same composition of what? All the liquid has the same composition of XL. All the solid has the same composition of Xs. Make sense? Okay. Of course, when we are here, I have pretty much all what? High temperature, I have pretty much all what? All liquid, very little solid, and almost all that liquid has a composition of what? I'm here. Almost all the liquid should have composition of what? Just x0, right? Oh, the tiny bit of solid should have the composition of what? This guy, right? Which is k. We define k as the ratio between solid to the liquid. It's just this guy. Make sense? That's when we are at T1 temperature. And as we go cool down from T1 to T2, we have more what? Solid or liquid. Go from T1 to T2, we have more what? More? No. Go from T1 to T2, I should have more what? Going down in temperature, I should get in more? Not liquid, more solid, right? We are doing solidification. As we decrease the temperature, we should have more solid and less liquid. When I go into here, I should have pretty much all what? Solid, very little liquid. And what, when I'm very close to here, at T3, what is my solid composition? X0, right? It's just the, the, the intercept. What's my liquid composition? It's given by the tie line intercept. It's going to be here, which is X0 divided by K. You see what I mean? So if I'm here, all liquid, 
I'm here almost all liquid, very little solid. Here almost as I draw half half solid liquid. Here very little liquid, almost all solid. When I'm here, what? All uniform solid alpha. Make sense? That's what you learn in thermodynamics. Okay. And then we said equilibrium. We are doing it very slowly. And uh, in this process, naturally, because we are doing it slowly, uniform, the liquid average composition should follow the liquidus line. What is liquidus line? From here to here, that's your liquidus line, right? The average solid composition follows what? Solidus line. Make sense? And if we said it's uniform solid, uniform liquid. Make, make sense? This is very, very slow. At any moment, let's say T2, at any given temperature, the system is under equilibrium condition. And if it's under equilibrium condition, the solid composition is given follows the solidus line, which is this point. The intercept of the temperature, isothermal temperature tie line and the phase boundary line. Make sense? Well, the liquid composition is just the intercept of the isothermal temperature line and the liquidus line, the, the other phase boundary. Make sense? And then what you learned, so-called level rule. What is level rule? It's kind of the proportion of solid versus the proportion of liquid. It's given by the opposite arm divided by the total arm. Here, if I'm very close to here, the proportion of liquid is what? Close to one or close to zero? If I'm very close to here, in the two-phase region, the proportion of liquid is close to one or close to zero? Close to one because it's the liquid on the right side. It's the opposite divided by total, which is almost close to one. Well, the proportion of solid, which is on the left side, it's opposite arm, very little here, divided by total arm, which is zero. Make sense? On the other hand, we if we are just here, a little bit above, the proportion of liquid is almost zero because it's liquid on the right side. Opposite arm, very tiny, divided by the total. Make sense? That's what you learn in level rule. We can fully understand this. At any moment, the composition, the amount, this is so-called equilibrium solidification. And then I'm drawing something like this. Let's say one side, left side, what? Solid, right side, liquid. And because we are doing this slowly at any moment, the S XL means what? Composition for the liquid. XS means composition for the solid. Straight line on the right side, straight line on the left side. Make sense? Because we are assuming what? Uniform liquid composition as well as uniform solid composition. Make sense? And then what does X0 mean? Our system composition. Make sense? System composition. Let me point to here. This kind of this red shaded region kind of represent initially before it becomes solid, initially this part kind of like what? Like solid, right? And b before it becomes solid, it's kind of like liquid. It has a composition of X0. But after the transformation, the composition becomes this value. And where does this part of solute go? The solute got rejected from the liquid from the solid into the liquid. Do you see what I mean? As I do this cooling, do this solidification, the liquid composition become more and more what? Richer, makes sense? As I do this cooling down, as I cool from here, what's the 
initial liquid composition x zero as i cool further down do you see the liquid the composition is getting what richer and richer getting higher and higher make sense you see what i mean as i do this it's richer it's getting richer and richer okay let's stop here